manta rays are checking themselves out in the mirror, and ammonium hydrosulfide may be giving Jupiter its red colour. This is Science Wrap. Hi, and welcome back to Science Wrap, the show where we feed you the tastiest new research from the world of science, all wrapped up in an easy to digest package. My name's Miriam, PhD and science lover. So a lot has changed since our last video. Again, different background, different hair, I'm pretty sure, and completely different country. I'm coming to you guys now from Edmonton, Canada. So woo, hello to New Zealand people. <laughs> Sorry about the delay in getting videos up and going. It's just been crazy moving halfway across the world, as you can probably imagine. So without further ado, let's jump right in. When you or I look in the mirror, we know that it's ourselves staring back at us but it's not like this for all animals. The ability to know thyself and separate yourself from the environment or other individuals is known as self-awareness. The usual way to test for this in animals or even young people is called the mirror test. What happens here is you put an individual in front of a mirror, sometimes with a sticky dot on their head and see what happens. If they recognize that the object in the mirror is them, they'll reach towards themselves to take the sticker off rather than the image in the mirror. Now, it seems that manta rays also have this ability. They were filmed gliding past a mirror in their enclosure and sort of pausing to check themselves out. The keepers also saw the manta rays blowing bubbles in front of the mirror, which is a behavior they'd never seen before. What's also important is what they didn't do. So they didn't try and interact with the mirror as if it were another individual. All these behaviors led the keepers to think that the manta rays are self-aware. It's pretty cool, but as you can probably guess, there's a lot of skepticism around these findings. The likely explanation is that the manta rays were probably just curious about the image. Probably the most interesting point to come out of all of this though, is do we actually have a good test for self-awareness? The mirror test relies on animals relying heavily on their sense of sight. So animals, including manta rays, who rely more on touch or electroreception, may be missing out. It really makes us think about how we test for things like self-awareness, emotion, cognition, personality, all of these different things in animals that communicate and view the world in a totally different way. Also this week, scientists have concluded that ammonium hydrosulfide may be the substance that gives Jupiter its red color. Ammonium hydrosulfide exists in Jupiter's atmosphere, but here on Earth, we mostly see it as colorless crystals. Taking some of these crystals into the lab, scientists bombarded them with cosmic rays basically protons that had been sped up to be super fast. The cosmic rays tore the substance apart and made a new substance of mostly negatively charged ions. The new mixture was shown to absorb blue, violet, and near UV light, leaving mostly red behind. Now, it's not quite the same red that Jupiter has, but scientists think that other substances in the atmosphere, like methane, may end up mixing and creating the perfect Jupiter color. That's a wrap on some of the science news from this week. Thank you again so much for watching. There should be another fun video coming out later this week because it's a long weekend. As always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe.